Welcome back to my channel, folks. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a few coffee slash tea creamers that will amp up your morning routine with a few simple ingredients that are ultra customizable and just fun to play around with. On top of that, I wanna mention something that my wife and I have been working really hard on for about two years or so, and it's finally here. Our limited home decor collection finally dropped on QVC today. This is just a little slice of our home decor taste with about eight to nine pieces ranging from organization and storage to wall decor and a few accent rug and pillow pieces that I really enjoy seeing around our house. I love lounging and relaxing spaces throughout the home and these items really can make a room feel super cozy and fun with a few of these items placed in just the right spots. We really enjoyed designing these items and had to do a little moment of cheers for a day that has been long awaited. I hope you enjoy the collection as much as we do and if so, go check it out with the link in my description box for more info. Now it's on to the recipe. First up, I wanted to make sure that the creamers could match what you'd be used to with the store bought um, as far as sweetness goes. So I purchased a pretty standard creamer and it seems as though the ratio is about three to one dairy to sugar. So I'll base my recipe off of that for consistency and sweetness. The first up will be a caramel creamer. So weigh out your sugar, try not to spill it everywhere. This will be a consistent theme throughout the video. No spilling. Anyways, pour the sugar in a pan that's on medium heat and slowly melt the sugar until it becomes a dark brown caramel color. Should take about seven to 10 minutes, and if you want to dilute it with water so you don't risk burning it, that's fine as well. Once the caramel is done, let it cool for a few minutes, then slowly and carefully pour in the half and half until fully incorporated. Pour the caramel creamer into a swing top bottle and refrigerate immediately. Yet again, try not to spill it everywhere like I did. Next up is my number one go-to coffee creamer, brown sugar and vanilla. So you're gonna pour the half and half into a measuring cup or a measuring jar like this one. Just to make it a little bit easier, add the brown sugar and a generous amount of vanilla extract and give it a good whisk. Carefully pour the creamer into a swing top bottle yet again. Try not to spill it. I was struggling with the fill rates today as you can see. Now comes the matcha variation. Of course, you can use a variety of different matcha powders for this if you prefer one over the other, uh, but the ratio of sugar to half and half stays the same. The only thing you may want to adjust is how much matcha you put into this creamer. For me, the more the merrier as long as it makes sense. Uh, the only thing you wanna make sure with this creamer is to give it a really good blend so the matcha powder doesn't clump up. Once it's done, pour into a swing top bottle and refrigerate as soon as possible. Last but not least is the dark chocolate creamer that is absolutely a must if you're a mocha coffee type of person. Pour your half and half into a pan with a few chunks of your favorite dark chocolate and give it a stir to melt it in. After that, take it off the heat and mix in the remainder of the half and half along with some dark chocolate powder for an extra punch of dark chocolate intensity. Give this a really good blend with a mixer or stick blender and you are good to go. Swing top bottle, fridge, and done. As you guys saw in the video, these are super simple to make and really shine brighter than store-bought creamer, mainly because they don't contain all those hard to pronounce bizarre binders and preservatives that most creamers contain. And for that alone, these creamers are a must try in my opinion. What's up guys, hopefully you enjoyed my take on uh, creamers. These can be used for so many different things. You could do it with boba, different types of milk teas. <clears throat> if you guys will kind of want to spice up your tea game in the morning. And of course, uh, for coffee as well. Um, I'm definitely going to be using 
all these, maybe other than the matcha for my coffee. Um, I'm actually gonna test this right now with a little bit of ice and some milk. So let me go grab some ice. Probably not too much because it's sweet. <laughs> mm. Oh man, I wish I had some boba. Oh man, wow. Really good uh, matcha flavor coming through. Um, like I said in the video, you want to make the, um, the flavor really compact. That's why the creamers um, are so tasty and everyone likes them so much because when they pour it in there, not, not only do they get the, the richness from the, the fat or the milk or the half and half that they put on each individual creamer, but they get the sugar and of course, like a, almost like an extract of flavor, whether it's you know hazelnut or caramel, vanilla and so on and so forth. A little goes a long way with these creamers. So you just kind of want to think of like, you know, compact reducing those flavors in how much creamer you go through in a week or two's time. But this tends to be something we use on a day-to-day -day basis. My go-to is the vanilla uh, brown sugar. Love that in my coffee. I, I use that just about every day or every other day. Uh, sometimes I just put brown sugar in my coffee, but nothing you know, super chefy with this video. Uh, very straightforward. It's just one of those things that sparks the imagination in so many different ways that you can uh, make creamers and make them at home. It's way, way cheaper to make these than to buy the usual uh, pint of creamer at the store. I would say each one of these is like two bucks, maybe a little less, $1.50 to make, and some of the creamers that um, you buy at the store that are like, the one that I showed you was uh, 16 ounces, which is two cups worth of creamer. That one was like four bucks or so. Um, so I feel like it's definitely worth it, especially with how fast you can make them. And there's so many different ways you can play around with creamers, just a fun idea. Like I said, nothing, um, fancy at all that you guys probably already don't know, but I thought it was fun. Just like I said, spark the imagination and just think uh, a little bit differently with homemade products at home. Really excited about the, uh, the chocolate one. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, give it a big old like, subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I do here. Drop a comment down below if you guys enjoy videos like this that are really simple and just kind of uh, get you thinking about a product that you use every day and how you could make it homemade and kind of cater to your own palate. Customization is like the biggest thing for me. The recipe will be down below for um, each one of these, equipment links and all that good stuff. So um, I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later folks. If you are interested, make sure you check out our Pacific Time Limited Home Decor Collection in partnership with QVC. See you guys soon.